Hi, this is Gabriel. Welcome to the sixth part of the Robot Components Beginner Series. In this video, we'll learn how to set up our own robot tool. I'm using a custom mesh that represents our Studio Gripper. You can find the download link for the file in the video description. To start off, I'll create a new robot definition. I'll use the IRB 1205 preset component again. Let's move it to the side so we can have a clearer view on our robot tool definition in the next steps. I'll use the construct point for that and change its Y value to 500 mm. If we plug it into the position plane of our robot component, it will automatically create an XY plane for us with the corresponding origin. Now that our robot is out of the way, we want to define a robot tool that we can mount to it. To do so, we have two different components as option available. The Construct Robot Tool from Planes and Construct Robot Tool from Quaternions components. In this video, we'll go with the first one. As you can see, the Construct Robot Tool from Planes component comes with four inputs. The first one defines the name of the tool. Its default value will be always default tool. I will rename it to Gripper to make sure it has its unique name. The next input defines the mesh of our robot tool. We can use the mesh parameter component of Grasshopper to pass our custom mesh data to the component. Just place it in the scene, do a right click, select set one mesh from the drop down menu and select the mesh in the Rhino viewport. Please note that the Construct Robot Tool component can only handle one mesh. If your tool mesh consists of multiple parts, make sure to merge them into one mesh beforehand. Let's move on to the third input, which is the attachment plane. This plane defines how the tool will be attached to our robot and is always defined in world coordinate space. In our case, we can simply use the default XY plane of Grasshopper and connect it to the input. We can use the plane visualizer of the utility section to discuss this in a little bit more detail. Let's connect the attachment plane to it and deactivate the preview of the tool construction component. As you can see, the Z axis of the attachment plane is facing the tool direction. This should be the case for any tool you connect to the robot. We can easily check if our attachment plane is set up correctly by finally connecting the tool output of the tool construction component to the robot. As you can see, it gets attached perfectly. Let's see what happens if we move the attachment plane of our robot tool. I'll use a point parameter and connect it to the origin input of the XY plane. If we now move the point around, and thus the origin of the attachment plane, you can see how this will create an offset to the mounting frame of our robot. However, I'll delete the point parameter again since I don't need an offset for the gripper tool. Now, let's have a look at the last input, the tool plane, which is also called TCP, or tool center point. It will impact how the robot is reaching a position. When we looked at the different movement types for the robot before, we never used a tool. So, our robot tried to align its mounting frame with the target plane of each movement. However, when we are using a tool, the robot will instead use the tool plane for its alignment. For now, let us create the tool plane. As the attachment plane, also the tool plane is set up in world coordinate space. I will create another XY plane for that purpose and connect it to the plane visualizer. Also, this time I definitely want to give it an origin point, since the tool plane will have an offset from the attachment plane. We can use Grasshopper's construct point component to create a point in the world's origin at 0, 0, 0. Since I already know that the TCP point of our gripper tool has an offset of exactly 141mm in that direction, I can simply adjust the Z-coordinate input. To make sure I don't change this value accidentally later on, I'll connect our constructed point to a point parameter and internalize its data. 
We can now safely delete the construct point component and use the point parameter as input for the origin of our xy plane. Note that for the gripper tool, the tool plane is facing in the same direction as the attachment plane. However, depending on our robot tool of choice, the attachment plane might face a completely different direction. Now that we have set up the tool plane correctly, let's connect it to the tool plane input of the construct tool component. We are now done with the robot tool creation. That's it for now, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video where we'll finally put everything together and create a small pick and place program.